Hi there Leo, it's Maria from the Tarot Shop and this is your reading for February 2024. Um, I'm going to take one oracle card to just give you a general feeling of what's coming for the month ahead and also six tarot cards. I'll pop the links in the description to the cards that I'm using so that you can see them there. This beautiful light's being cast over here from the flame. Um, okay, so Leo for the month of February. Let's pull an oracle card for you just to see what message the angels and ancestors have for you leo for the month of february 2024 please also remember if it doesn't resonate then also check out your moon and or your rising sign okay so we have the star ancestor that says follow the voice of your soul so we have some deep and meaningful transcendence that's happening this month so let's pop that to one side and have a look and see what the tarot has to say what clarity they can provide for us leo for the month of february and cut and complete right one two three four five six Pop those to one side. Okay, so we've got some transformation happening. Now, just trying to think what, what month is of February. So you've got, you open the month, Leo, being very maternal. You're taking care of somebody. Um, this is also linked to your... Yeah, it just definitely feels like a maternal thing. So you've got maternal role here. It can be even if, um, if you're not a mother yet or if you are not taking care of your mother. This can be a sister, sibling, female, somebody who's very... I want to say almost Leo in their energy, actually. So it's they're very... feminine that's the word i'm looking for so they're very feminine and very sure of themselves very confident very gentle very persuasive they're also very persuasive so this person is in your life and actually there's an element here of letting go so um you are changing things it can be that you have a disagreement with a friend for example or something like that this person's here and then you are letting go of some aspect that doesn't serve you any longer you know it's not it's there's a little there's a slight i'm just going to say there's some toxicity here so you've decided to release that and that's at the beginning of the month and that's because you believe that you were betrayed by that person so it's probably you've invested a lot in a friendship or you've invested a lot in this relationship and as a result of that, you've decided that actually things have gone on long enough. You know, mentally, you're finding this quite a drain and it's time to put some self-care in. So you're just changing things, you know, and that's because it's possibly been quite toxic or and not even necessarily from this person is, you know, is um, this can be female boss. It can be anybody, really. So just think, I'm sure you know already who, who I'm talking about here. It's a toxic situation from the point of view that it's draining for you. And as a result of that, you've decided to call a halt on it. And now it does feel, remember, we go through these horrible feelings of guilt and all these sorts of things. But actually, at the end of the day, you do decide to almost start afresh, start anew. So it can be even that you have, it's a turning point in the relationship is possibly the best way that I can explain that. And then you move on to new pastors. So you start a new, start afresh. And when you start afresh, you are going to take care. It's about the self-care. So you need to trust yourself that you will make the right decision, that you are in control of this situation, that you will be able to move forward and to take care of yourself. And the reason I say that is because you've got the King of Cups and the King of Swords. So this is somebody who feels deeply and this is somebody who thinks a lot. This can be either two people in, right? You can either end up the month with literally the choice between two, two guys. You'll get caught in between two people, two men. Um... Or 
you've got a like a doctor and a, a doctor and a lawyer that sort of thing so you basically got you get torn between two conflicting situations here where you have to choose between two people or and this is the new life or you have um, decided to take care of how you feel and take care of how you think so you are taking responsibility for how you feel and responsibility for your own thoughts so it's either aspects of yourself because that's what the court cards are so it's either aspects of yourself or these are real people in which case you know follow your heart if this situation arises here i would say make a very sensible decision based on because you've already been in it's almost like everything arrives doesn't it just when you it's like you don't and then you get buses they're all in at the same time so it does feel like there's a choice here to be made um between somebody who's caring or somebody who's intellectual that's it i can't make that decision for you my advice to you this month would be um to follow the voice of your soul obviously because that's what the cards are saying so to listen to the voice within and actually if this is a choice between two people you'll feel it at a very deep level which is the right decision or the right person to spend time with and this other situation is good that it's ended from the point of view that you've taken in charge of it because it's very draining and i do believe you'll put it on a very much on a firmer footing it's whatever happens this exchange between the two or this release that you do it's actually you then um start afresh together you know okay so i hope that made sense to you it was a very cryptic message they're not normally that quite quite that cryptic so i really hope that it does um it does resonate with you and if it doesn't leo then remember to always go and have a look at your moon and or your rising signs but in essence, make a note that a situation is getting clarity and you're closing the door on it. Um, you're taking charge. You're going to start afresh. And there, there's some choice here between two guys or um, or within yourself. You've decided to take care of yourself responsibly and um, to take care of how you think. So change your belief systems. So that's it. Um, thanks very much for your time, Leah. Okay, see you next month. Bye-bye.